Another week, another roller coaster. After closing February with a 14.5% green candle, then opening this month with a nice 3% candle, we hit a wall on the road, as you guys can see here, which by the way, looks very familiar. Now we are on a three day skid. We're basically down about 10% from the highs that we hit on Wednesday. So what exactly has happened this week for such wild price action? Well, like we've been telling you guys, a lot of it is due to event driven price action, not really too much to do with technicals. Monday and Tuesday, we were basically riding a high from Bitcoin volume spiking in Russia and Ukraine due to the sanctions. The crazy part is that while the equities market was still in the red, Bitcoin was in the green all by itself uncorrelated. Then on Wednesday, money printing Jerome Powell, of course, reminded everyone that this month there will be some rate hikes and that, of course, dropped the market even more. So now here we are back at $40,000 and threatening to pull back possibly even deeper. In today's video, we're going to look at the possible support levels that we have we will also be taking a look here at the order books, trying to see if there's any buy walls that might prevent us from dropping too deep. Then of course, I will share with you guys my trade setups that I am watching going into this weekend that guys, you don't want to miss. Let's go ahead and dive into today's video. All right, guys, so real quick, a recap from the trade setups that we gave you guys on Monday's video. The main trade setup that we gave you was that $42,000 breakout entry. If you guys entered that, you already know that that price shot up like crazy. We went to a high of 45,300. If you would have rode it all the way to the top, that was around a 7.8% move up. If you use 10 X leverage, like we do, that would have been around a 78% profit on that trade. So here's my entry of the exact trade setup that I gave you guys on Monday. You can see that we did about 63, $6,400. We we're actually able to ride this up a little bit further into the $44,000 range, take some profits on the way up there and then we trailed out around this range right here so today we're gonna give you guys another trade setup going into the weekend that we will be watching that could possibly perform similar to this one right here guys you don't want to miss it we'll be sharing it with you in a little bit all right guys so just taking a look at this if you just look at it you can see what kind of what's going on right ever since we basically lost this range here that forty-five thousand dollar level we've basically been trading in a big range you can see that we dropped all the way to the bottom of this level we actually dropped below it but we were able to bounce back up and retest the top of this range not only did we test it here here, but we retested it a second time and then we had the big drop this was due to the whole uh, the fear the FUD with the war and all that and then this week we shot right back up retested this here and now guess what guys another rejection down so there's definitely a possibility that we can continue to drop here and retest these lower levels yet again you can see that last time we tested $40,000, we kind of hung out there for about two days, right? We had this big red candle, we had one other red candle, and then we basically lost it. So we're there for, let's say two days minus that candle, right? So this one is the initial candle today that we've seen here. I think it could hold, there is a possibility that we hold here, but if we are to lose $40,000, then we could space basically see some sort of price price action similar to that where we retest you know 38 to 36 35 thousand dollar that whole range that's an entire zone right so if we lose this last support this is basically the last support and then there's really nothing until around 38 which is where we went to last time so that's kind of what we're looking at this weekend you know it's all going to probably depend on what comes out in the news, what happens with the war, what happens with war talks, what happens with, you know, everything that's been going on. Now, another thing to remember is that we will get the rate hikes this month. Now, I don't know if those rate hikes have been priced in. 
by now. Rate hikes have been being talked about for the last two, three months. So I'm thinking like, come on market, it should be priced in by now, right? The other thing of course is that there's still a huge war going on that could get worse. If it gets worse, it's gonna be bad for all markets, right? So if it were to get worse and prices are going to fall, if it gets better and if it looks like they're, they might be steering towards some sort of peaceful resolution or something, then prices might, you know, go back up. But that's the thing. We have no idea what's going to happen. So it's basically you're flipping a coin at this point, trying to figure out what's going to happen, trying to know which side of the trade you want to be on. And for times like this, I would say you just got, you have to find key key levels and try to play those key levels. And basically that's what we will be looking into today for our trade setup. So make sure that you guys watch that trade setup that we're about to talk about in a little bit. Now taking a look at the order books here, you can see that we've had a lot of sell walls up here for a while. So both times that we've been rejected, well, all three times we've been rejected, they're not massive sell walls, but there have been some sell walls, right? So what we're looking for now is for, is is there anywhere where we have a lot of buy orders? So basically a buy wall. And as I'm looking through the order book, there's really nothing over a hundred until right here. This price is 37,250. That's the first mini buy wall that I see there. And it's a very, very small wall. We have more at 37,000. So if we keep going lower, we'll see some orders at 36,000. But it looks like the majority of the orders right now are sitting at $35,000. So there's really not too much. There's a potential for a drop down to those levels at $35,000 level because it's just not a lot of buy orders currently right now in the books. And you can see if we look at the volume shelf here, there's a huge gap here, right? So 40,000 is currently our last line of defense and we're probably going to drop back to this volume shelf right here. And this level starts around 39,000, but it doesn't get really strong until around the $38,000 level. So that's where I'm thinking if we lose 40,000, we probably retest 38,000. That would be in a good case scenario. In a bad case scenario, we're probably going to test 35,000 and maybe beyond that. So you'll see here that 30, around 36, 37 is where this current Fibonacci level is. And then 35 would be right around here, which is where we had some support here on this drop last time. Now, what I don't like about losing this Fibonacci level Level, there's no guarantee that we bounce right back up like we did in this candle and like we did back here. By losing this level here, we're threatening dropping and testing this level way down here, which is $30,000. So that's what I really don't like about losing this level. As you guys can see, it looks like, you know, there's not much we can do right now. Price just wants to go down right now. There's you know, there's there's nothing that it's out of our control at this point, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the trade setup that I wanna tell you guys. Hopefully we have time to use it because price is getting to that trade setup right now. Now, before I share with you guys the trade setups that I am watching for this weekend, all I ask for is that you smash that subscribe button for me. If you wanna make money either trading crypto through crypto passive income or just wanna stay up to date with the latest crypto trends, I upload a video almost every single day about these topics. So please smash that subscribe button so that you never miss another opportunity to make money in crypto again. In addition to that, I answer every single DM that I get on Instagram and I also answer every single comment that I get on my YouTube channel. So if you guys have any questions at all, drop it in the comments. All right guys, so you can see here that we literally just lost $40,000 and that was actually the trade setup that I wanted to give you guys. So by the time I dropped this video in about an hour or so, I'm not sure exactly where the price is going to be, but $40,000 is a level that I want to play because remember, like I said before, 40,000 is a key level. Last time we lost $40,000, look at the drop that we had there. It was about between a seven to 10% drop. If you, if you just look at this candle and if you look at this candle where there was a lot of panic because of the war and all that going on, it was about a 15, 14% drop. 
So we wanna look to take advantage of this possible drop and play it basically all the way down to this next Fibonacci level there. That's around a 7.5% move. I'm using 10X leverage on this, so that's again another 75% profit on this move if we hit our targets. Now, if we can't use that 40K area as the opportunity to take a short trade, then the next area that you can look for is 38 thousand dollars if we break below thirty eight thousand then we will probably be testing this fibonacci level down here we can expect to see 37 possibly 36 35 so a move here from 38 to this fibonacci level is around three percent if we move all the way down to 36 that would be around a five percent move and if we were to retest 35 that's around a seven and a half percent move so again a seven and a half percent move down if we're using 10x leverage that's a 75 five percent profit on that trade now with all that being said it doesn't mean that you should just open up a trade not set up any stop losses not take any profit and just try to write it down to 35 because it does it doesn't always work out that way things change you need to be taking profits you need to be trailing you need to be using stop losses you need to be making sure that your position size is proper and you're not risking too much on these trades so if you guys know how to do all that Perfect, you're all set. But for those of you who don't, who need a little bit more assistance, a little bit more help, if you wanna know exactly what trades it is that I am taking every single day in real time, then you need to get into my mentorship trading program. In this group, I share every single trade that I take with my complete trading plan, entry, stop loss, take profit, all of it. I teach you guys how to trade the right way, how to use leverage to maximize your capital, how to position size properly using the right risk every single trade so that you never have to worry about blowing your account again. In addition to that, I also post crypto passive income opportunities, NFT projects, and much, much more. Now, there are limited spots for this because there's so many people that want to get into it, but I can only work with a certain amount of people at once. So if you're interested, go to the link in the description below. I'm telling you guys, crypto is a once in a generation opportunity. And the way that it is right now, the easy opportunities to make money in the market, they will not last forever. So please, if you guys are interested, sign up in the link in the description below. If not, I strongly recommend that you check out the next two videos that are put up on the screen because those are the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.